New. He's bowling to Matthew Elliott, who's on six, and his opening partner, Hayden, also on six. Uh, this time it's hooked away. That's a very, very good shot by Matthew Hayden. He's had some problems with the pull shot and the hook this morning. Well, for a moment it looked as though Matthew Hayden was going to be a bit late on that. Finished up as a short arm jab away through mid wicket. And they go to run four. So Bishop uh, might have spotted that. But uh, he won't contain him with uh, short outside the off stump. He loves them in that area and four more. That's four more. So Patterson Thompson just struggling with his length at the moment. And as the ball gets a little older, this wicket becomes very flat. Good for batting. Jimmy Adams to continue. Uh, it's beautifully played. Good footwork. Adams has only fractionally overpitched that, and it was made into the half volley by Hayden's footwork and uh, a beautifully placed stroke away there through cover. And uh, that one, a donkey drop, is the only way he could describe it. And Matthew Hayden smashes it away. Ten runs from his first over, none for 142. Over the top this time, that's a very good shot going all the way down to the boundary. One bounce and into the fence. Matthew Hayden, a strong driver of the ball, has decided that he's going to open up. Over pitched on this occasion and put away. Five runs off the over. It's 199 without loss. Is a shot and a half. Brilliant effort. Bring up the century for Matthew Hayden. 22nd first class hundred for him. It's the first uh, one he's had this summer. And what a beautiful shot. Great effort for Matthew Hayden. Flayed past point. Matthew Hayden just using uh, Bishop's pace there to put that one away. And that brings up the 300. Oh, beautifully struck. That's one of his great attributes, uh, Matthew Hayden. He's such a powerful striker of the ball down the ground. He really just has to meet it, that full face of the bat. It's a four all run. Well, that's well taken by Courtney Brown and really took off after it pitched. So the end of a highly uh, profitable day for the Australian 11. The two left-handed uh, batsmen really cashing in against some lacklustre West Indian bowling. Matthew Elliott and Matthew Hayden both uh, posting centuries. That's a very nice shot from Matt Hayden. You'll never know if Nixon McLean can swing them or not because he doesn't pitch them up far enough to uh, give the ball a chance. Although he is being encouraged by his captain to bowl short as Matthew Hayden acknowledges he's 150. Experts will agree with that, say that it's a good idea. What they will do is say that uh, Matthew Hayden is in pretty good touch again this morning. The yeah, outfield's still a little slow from uh, the rain yesterday. Yes. That's excellent running. He's very quick between the wickets. Greg Blewett responds to the call well. One for 358. As uh, we take a look towards the north, 
here at the beautiful Bell Reeve Oval. And uh, it's very pleasing to say that the clouds are starting to break up somewhat, still hanging over Mount Wellington, where last night snow has been falling. That's a beautiful stroke. Absolutely gloriously played through the covers. Good use of the feet. And he timed it and found a huge gap that exists between mid-off and a man at point. Beautiful scenes here at Bell Reeve, right out the back of our commentary position. It's one of the prettiest cricket grounds anywhere in the world. That is four. That was hit like a tracer bullet. Short outside the off stump. Hayden's very strong there. Down the ground, safely beating the man at mid-off. Miles of area out there to do that sort of shot. And when you're 173, you're seeing them like footballs. You can just about place the ball to wherever you want. Every now and then, he's going to hit one on the onside as well and hit it straight out over the fence for six. That's a lot to do with where Carl Hooper's been forced to bowl on that leg side. Matthew Hayden just smashes it away. Matthew Hayden must be smiling to himself. Christmas has come early. These tactics certainly are not the right one. Just over cover point. Matthew Hayden moves to 188. Hayden finds the gap. Nixon McLean will not get to it. So the 400 comes up. Matthew Hayden now just eight runs from a double century. And he's missed it. Well, had missed an opportunity until the misfield. 200 for Matthew Hayden. Third double for Matthew Hayden. 234 is his highest. Not sure he'll be allowed to uh, go that far. I think there could well be some instructions that uh, you've had your share, son. Now turn it over to somebody else. But that's been a very good effort from Matthew Hayden. Those are his other double centuries. And I wouldn't think he'd uh, toss it away before lunch. I don't think uh, Stuart Law would appreciate coming in right now magic to be happening from the pitch well Colin I can tell you uh, when they first opened this ground up and we're going to have some overthrows here when they first opened this ground and we began to play first-class cricket the West Indies team uh, that's a magnificent stroke the execution was absolutely perfect it needed to be because it was a rank full toss outside the off stump, but you still have to hit them. If you're just joining us, good afternoon. Welcome to Bell Reeve. That score is not a mistake. It's one for 433. Matthew Hayden is 212. Greg Blue at 35. The Australians are going along beautifully. Ideal batting conditions. Sun breaking through intermittently. The two spinners are on. The West Indies have had a long stint in the field and these Australian 11 batsmen are enjoying it with strokes like that. So are the crowd. Matthew Hayden is just hitting the ball at will at the moment. That's a beautiful lofted drive over cover once again. Jimmy Adams to uh, Matthew Hayden. Hayden hitting that one very firmly uh, out to the square leg boundary. So Hayden moves along to 224. We, we, we really should have won it. I mean, I know it's easy to say, but we only needed 70 runs. Just a second, and uh, Matthew Hayden's long knock has come to an end. He's got an outside edge to uh, a Chanderpaul leg break. So we'll go back to the uh, commentary position with Greg Ritchie and Colin Croft. Thanks very much, Ian. And uh, Matthew Hayden departs. A little disappointed. Uh, just trying to play that dab straight once again. Courtney Brown did a good job behind the stumps on this occasion. Hasn't been the happiest of games for him. But a great innings comes to an end. Matthew Hayden finally out. Off the bowling of Chanderpaul, caught by Courtney Brown for 224. And he gets a standing ovation, a very, very good effort by him. It's two for 450.